Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. It's time once more for some weekly painting progress. We're going to start off, we got a couple more of these Lost Valley, whatever it was called, Reaper Jungle Orc Amazon Ladies finished. Obviously, she's got a spear. And we also got the Axe Lady finished up. Quite muscular. Very simple. Very quick paint job, but they're done nonetheless. I believe I have almost all the tribe finished at this point. Let's see what else we got. Random V-Rai. V-Rai from the Gates of Antares. And they had a very sloppy paint job just because I wanted to get them done and move on and do the more interesting ones. You can see this one I put the legs on backwards, but you didn't hear that from me. They're kind of cool little models though. Very different. About the size of a human. In case you need AI worker drone bugs. Machine bugs, I should say. So those are what the V-Rai are. Got them done. I already had one finished. Might as well put them in with the rest of the bunch at this point. Because they are done and I can move on and keep working on them. Let's see what other random things we have this week. A 15mm werewolf from Battle of Valor Games. Not the most exciting of paint jobs, but it does the job nonetheless. Any other 15 millimeter stuff this week? Surprisingly, no, but another random Caesar Miniatures Aztec Warrior done up in alligator caiman garb. I'm not sure what kind of crocodilians live in Mesoamerica, specifically in Mexico, but you know. I'll leave that to the biologists and all of them to figure out. If you guys know, let me know. I'm curious. Well, that's my kid. Maybe he can tell me. All right, what else? Another random Bones figure. I want to say he's part of the Pathfinder bunch. I don't know what I was trying to do. He was painted with a lot of leftover colors, so he just got finished, and happy about that. A Durgan Paint Forge. Oh, gosh. What is this guy called? Let's see, it was like a demon hunter or something along those lines, but just a, a cool little samurai dwarf. Japanese inspired. Not the greatest paint job. But he's done. You can hang out. I love that book. I don't know why, but his face reminds me of Shel Silverstein. Every time I see this, the crazy beard and the cocked eyebrows, I, I just think of Shel Silverstein. The light in the attic. What can I say? We got our infinity blackjack done enough that I can respectfully just put it on the screen and call it a day here. He was sitting in front of me for some time. I believe this is the sniper variation. There's another one with a heavy machine gun where he's just kind of leaning against it. It's kind of boring. Did a lot of contrast paints on it just to give them a try. I keep screwing around with them and I never seem to be happy with the results, but I keep using them nonetheless. Figure I'll just finish off the pots and be done with them. But it's a good size figure, <clears throat> if you weren't familiar. If you need a big clunky powered armor type guy. I keep trying to figure out a way to use it in Necromunda, but not sure where it would really work. Other interesting weird clunky stuff. Um, not clunky this guy so much. This is a Verge of War Space Pirate from their previous Kickstarter. And I want to say they're available, or hopefully should be, on their website. I'll put a link down below just in case you're curious. I do like when we have weird proportioned aliens, and I'm not sure what I was doing with the armor there with the weird white and red zigzag pattern, so you can just ignore that. It's a big gun, though. It's a big model, too, in case you aren't familiar. It's on a 40 millimeter base. And then we have another of those guys that I did my poor job of trying to write pirate with a nasty broken brush so forgive my kanji writing but whatever i like this guy you can tell he's obviously uh lizard like in his appearance and he desperately needs a bit more highlighting because it's really not coming out on the camera here so we'll have to probably go back and play around with that but i really like this sculpt again it should be pretty obvious but you have big lizard warriors Armed with guns and knives and fun things like that. And now we have too much sunlight. <coughs> Alright. Moving on. We got the Lord of Blades from Gale Force 9. I'm not as big a fan of this sculpt of him. Getting that base done was fun. 
trying to make sure that nothing matched exactly. And unfortunately, one of you said it reminded you of Ultron from the Avengers movies, and now I just can't help but unsee it. I can't unsee it at all. Which is a shame, because I really liked Ultron growing up. He was one of my favorite Avengers villains. I loved the old John Buscema artwork version of him in the 70s. To me, that was like prime Ultron. But anyway, we're getting off on a very divergent tangent here. Still wish he was kind of a bit bigger. Too small for my taste. Okay, what else we got? Oh. Blizzards. I finally got around to finishing up some of my remaining Saurus Knights. I think that's what they're called now. Simple paint job. But we got four of them done, I think. I, I mostly did the ones with the spears. Try to at least make them look decent. Tabletop acceptable. I mean, there's some really harsh, sloppy paint lines on there. Especially on the underbellies, but I'm not going to care. <laughs> They're done. Done enough. And we got the unit leader here. <clears throat> and it's funny because last week I got one of the Lost Kingdom Saurus lizards finished up here. And I got another one done. And you can see there is a big difference in size. And I said that this week I was going to try to get one of the riders finished. Well, turns out I only bothered to prime one of them, and I haven't come across where I put the rest yet. I haven't checked everything. I've been very busy with school and work and things like that. So I have not had time to devote to that. But you can see here, just based on the size alone of their mounts, yeah, um, the Lost Kingdom ones are quite nice. So we got two out of five mounts done, but believe it or not, I did find one rider. And you can see here, there's just a huge difference in size going on there. It's just kind of a crazy difference. But it's a good thing. I mean, actually, the lizards themselves, the seraphon or whatever you want to call them, they're not hugely different in terms of size. A little bit bigger, but, you know, I'm going to use them for heroes or old ones or whatever they're called these days, scar vets. I think for the time being, that would be a great use for them. And surprisingly, he has not warped or bent over on that base. I was very afraid. Of course, the actual command units I'm even more worried about. I can't get a hold of them right now. And finally, last but certainly not least, we've got the Patriarch of Onslaught finished from Creature Caster, and I am so happy that they decided to make this a regular model of their line rather than just a limited release because it's a very very nice model unfortunately the colors are super saturated right now because it's quite bright and sunny outside finally after weeks of raining but just to give you guys a good idea of what he is like he's on a 40 millimeter base so if i had skull taker handy i would grab that out because while i'm sure he's based on it they are quite different and to be honest i'm really digging this one more I hate it how Skulltaker has that weird flame skull thing in his hand. And I really like all of his crazy horns here. He's quite horny. <laughs> yeah. But just a nice quick paint job. Really help bring the details out there. So actually, there's just a little bit more that I was going to show this week. But I figured, you know what? I should have something to do for next week. So rather than just try to machine gun and slot my way through them, we'll save them for next week. So a nice productive haul for the week with a almost complete unit of Saurus Knights. My Lost Kingdom one's coming along quite nicely. We'll get the rest of them finished up. The usual random assortment of things. And the squad of V-Rai all finished. So a nice haul, if I may say so myself. Hopefully you guys are all out there doing the same and getting your stuff done and getting ready for the time when we can all start gaming face to face with our wonderfully painted armies after all of this. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye bye.